Hello everyone, my name is Justin. Welcome to Burbling. Um, hope everyone is having a great day. Uh, this class is called Describing Interesting Pictures. Um, so it's going to really practice your uh, ability to express yourself because these pictures are very uh, um, they're in, they're very diff a lot of different vocabulary you will will be required to uh, describe them um, and so you will learn new a lot of new vocabulary um, and also I will give you some good feedback I will wait for someone to join and I will give the instructions of how we're going to to do the class but um, for now I guess I can give you a a quick a quick run through so. The students will first describe the different images. Um, if a student can't describe the image, um, the other students or myself, we can uh, provide the student with vocabulary, but uh, the student has to create the structure. So uh, that's very important. Uh, if provided, we will read the captions to clarify any new vocabulary there and uh, see if, if uh, how well you described it. Hello, welcome. Adela. Hello. How are you? Fine, thanks. Thanks for asking. All right. Are you ready to, to describe some pictures? OK. All right. And then we have uh, Sophia. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello, teacher. Hi, I can hear you just fine myself, so we're good. All right, so um, uh, I was starting to describe the instructions, but I actually have the, uh, the instructions here. Okay, we're going to get right started. I know how these uh, classes go very quickly, so let's use our time here. So if you can see my screen. Whoops, there we go. Can you yes. see my screen? Yes, yes. Yes. All right. So this is how we're going to do the class. Um, first, uh, each one of you will take turns describing different images. Okay. Uh, if you can't describe it very well, uh, other students or myself can provide a vocabulary word, but not sentence structure. Okay. So um, if you can't think of how to describe, maybe a vocabulary word will help you. Uh, if provided, we will read the captions and clarify any vocabulary and also see how well you described it. Yeah? Um, and then after each description, uh, I'm going to give you feedback uh, by showing the errors. And then uh, as a group, we will, we will correct the errors. Okay? Any questions? No. No. All right. Um, so, what kind of what kind of pictures are you, do you do you like photography, Sophia? Do you uh, like photography? Uh, yes, I do. Do you take pictures? Uh, no, I don't. No, you don't take pictures of your friends and vacations. Uh, uh excuse me. Uh, yes, uh, I'm. I un understood that you asked asked me um, if uh, it was um, a work. Oh, um, no. No, not, uh, no. Just take pictures for fun, for a hobby. Uh oh, uh, yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, how about you, Adela? Do you take pictures for a hobby? Uh, yes. Obviously, I see your picture there. Where is that? Uh, my picture. Yeah, it's very snowy. Where is that? Uh, this is Perito Moreno in Argentina. Is that oh, okay, very nice. Yeah, so you're from Argentina. Mm. Okay, I'm living in uh, Colombia right now, and uh, I went on vacation recently. And many Argentina people, people from Argentina, are visiting Colombia at the moment. Uh, that uh, was a, a, a travel. Or it was a, a journey uh, with my family. Uh, oh. I'm I'm from Spain. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you're from Argentina. Okay, you're from Spain. I've no, been to Spain. I'm from Spain. Yes. Okay. All right, Sofia, where are you from? I'm from Italy north near Milan. 
Okay, so you would say north, nor northern Italy, northern Italy. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Very cool. All right. Well, let's get started here, since uh, I wanted to wait till maybe more people. Anyone is welcome to join at any time. Okay. So uh, I'm going to. Any questions about the rules? No. No, I think. All it's right. No. Here's our first picture. Look at that. All right. Um, so. Uh, anyone who want to volunteer to go first? Sophia or Adela? This is a mountain landscape. This is okay. a picture. Oops, uh, <laughs> no? Yeah, yeah, one second. I'm trying to get my uh, notes here so I can write notes. Okay, uh, go ahead. This is a, f um, a picture um, I think is uh, modified uh, because the colors I think is... Um, uh, uh, modify with uh, with a program eh? because okay. the color is uh, a little um, uh, older, uh, older colors, uh, I think. That's okay. An idea. And uh, um, I see a, a lake or water uh, because. Uh, the surface uh, shine, no? yeah. okay. the water, uh, with the sun or moon uh, light. Yeah. I don't know exactly. And, no, very good. And uh, the mountains uh, are uh, um, uh, covered uh, with uh, uh, plants, uh, with uh, trees. Uh, I think um, uh, they are uh, two or three mountains uh, are um, a, a very specific su summit uh, because it's very 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 sharp, uh, very pointed. Uh, it's uh, special uh, for for glim, I think. Very good. Uh, yes. What is this here? What do you think? It's uh, at the end of the day or the beginning of the day? Um, I think uh, it's a, a sunset, but okay. I don't Yeah, sunset or the opposite is a sun. sunrise. Okay, sunrise. perfect. Excellent. I'm going to stop you there. We're having some new people come in, and okay. I'll give you some feedback. Hello, welcome, everyone. We have Bruno and Giancarlo. Welcome, guys. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How about yourself? Wow, just good. All right. Weekend. Sunday yeah, happy happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yeah, yeah. sure. All right, uh, Bruno, welcome. Can you hear me? Bruno, are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Good. All right. How are you? I'm doing great. And you? Uh, excellent. It's a good Sunday. Relaxing Sunday. All right, I'm going to give you guys the quick. Uh, do you know the instructions, or do you want me to uh, review the instructions quickly? No problem. I think it it's all about describing pictures, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, you'll 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 uh, learn on the way what we're doing. Okay, good. So, um, and Ahmed, he's with us too. Can you hear me, Ahmed? Ahmed, welcome. Hello. No, no. Hello, I can hear you. All yeah. right. How are you? Welcome. Just... I'm doing great. Nice to see you. Thank you. All right, so this is what we got from uh, Adela. Did a really nice description of this first picture. Okay, and this is some feedback. Um, so I want us to to try to correct some of this. Is this this sound good? This is a mountain landscape. Can anybody give her any feedback on this? Is this an adjective? A mountain landscape? This is the noun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's what's an adjective here? Mountain. Montañas. Yeah, we need yeah. a we need a suffix. We say mountain, mountainous. Mount, uh, mountainous. A mountainous. Actually, I got to spell it right first. A mountainous? Well, maybe I. What the heck? How do you spell it? <laughs> All right. I don't know. I would say a mountainous landscape. 
But I gotta figure out how to spell it first. <laughs> Not... All right, a mountainous landscape. Let me see if I can find it online here. Okay, a mount. It's two ends. Okay, it's two ends. I think. Huh. A mountainous. There we go. <laughs> I gotta learn my spelling. All right. So a mountainous landscape. All right. Um. How about this? The surface shine the water. And uh, if I can get both pictures here, that'd be great. Here we go. So she's saying, uh, she's talking about right here. How would we describe this? Sunshine. The reflex. Yeah, we it, it reflects. So the surface, um, the surface. Uh, can anybody say use reflect and say it in a good, good sentence structure? We could say the surface. Um, or how about this? There is a. She said reflect, but that's the verb. The noun is reflect. Shun, reflection. Okay. There is a reflection on the surface of the water. Okay. All right. I'll go back here. That's a better way to say it, Adela. Okay, there is a reflection on the surface of the water. Um, and then there's another word. She said the mountains. These mountains are very sharp or pointed. Can anybody give me a better word that describes that? Whoops. <laughs> Got to get both of them up here. The mountains. She said they're very sharp yes. and pointed. We, uh, they have summit, uh, no? Uh, okay, I want to give you a new vocabulary word for this. For this right here, we would actually say the mountains are very jagged. Has anyone ever heard this word, no. jagged? Or sometimes we could say rugged. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? yes. Jagged? Uh, Two G's? Or rugged? Yeah. Those are different yeah. words we describe mountains. Jagged or rugged, okay? Uh, with a, uh, the, uh, sorry, the uh, summit uh, is uh, to the end, no? In summit uh, is the, the point. Uh, yep, yep, this is the summit right here. Yes, very good. All right, well, we have a caption for this one, so I'm going to open it up, and let's read the caption and see how close she was to describing this. So it just says a sunset over Rio de Janeiro. It's a very simple description. Ah, so sunset. Yep, okay. it's sunset. This is Brazil. Yes. All right, uh, we're going to go, um, I guess I'm going to go with Sophia since she was here second, uh, and then we'll go in order. Hello, Junior. Welcome. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. I am All right, good. Okay, and I can hear you too. All right, so Sophia, you want to be next? So yes. we have we have more people, so let's try to keep our descriptions between one to two minutes maximum, okay? So everyone gets an opportunity. All right. So this is a picture that we got for you. Very interesting. We got a couple landscape ones to start us start us off. So what's what's this about? Uh, this picture is about um, a winter landscape. Um, uh, we can't see clearly uh, what's in uh, because uh, of the bad focus of uh, images. Um, it look it looks like uh, there are some trees um, full of snow. Um, uh, the landscape could be um, a, a, a ski area. Okay. Mm. How about the water? Uh, the water is of a different uh, 
mm, colors of blue uh, mm, by light not by bright blue to the dark one mm. okay mm. No, it's good. How about, uh, does anyone think it's it's very cold here, yes? It's snowing? So what would we describe the state of the water? Uh, for me, it's not, uh, it's not, there's no, there's no cold area. I, I yeah, you, this isn't snow, you don't think? Hmm. I wonder. Do you think, the what do we call when water is, is cold and it turns hard? Ice. Ice, or the the verb is to... Freeze. Yes. So how do we describe the adjective? The water is... Freeze. Frozen. Frozen. Very good. The water is frozen. Okay. All right, good. Very good, Sophia. Okay. Thank yes. you. All right, Thanks. so th this is... um. You said the water is by bright blue to the dark... Well, maybe you say dark blue, yes? Uh, yes. Okay. Is this uh, what? What do we have here? Do we? Th is this? Can we change anything in this? Is it by? Uh, mm, from. Yes, that's I that's better. From bright blue to dark blue. Very good. And we don't need right here. We don't. This is not necessary. From bright blue to dark blue. Okay. Yes. Very good. All right. Um, very good. Though we're gonna go over the caption on this one. Does anybody? Oh, what is this? What is this called? Sorry, I didn't show this. Ah. Does anybody know what this is called? Mill. Mill? Yeah. It's like a windmill. All right. Good. So here, I'm gonna make this. Holland is. No. It's in the Netherlands. Netherlands. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like windmills were put on the the heritage list, and it is snow. Yeah, it's snow. So this must be ice. Yeah, making these colors. Yeah, very good. All right, uh, we're gonna just keep going to the left. So Junior, it's your turn. Okay. So this is what you got right here. We'll give you about a minute or two to describe it. My turn. Yep. Oh, very, very good. <laughs> a very beautiful picture. And I can see um, a flower, a big flower, and, uh, a bee in the a very beautiful sky, a blue sky, and uh, this. Picture this flower is about the bit of salt, but I, I can I, I will at least see how I can say this in my land in English. Sunflower. Okay. Sunflower. Yep, it's a sunflower. Very beautiful sunflower. This is that sometimes something else. How about the mountains? How would we describe where the mountains are? Oh, the mountain is a, a very big mountain with a very, very um, be, um, vegetable. It's not vegetable. It's a very so much tree, so much trees in the in the mountain. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, um, I have a little bit of feedback for you. You said the mountains is. The mountains. Be careful, plural. The mountains are. Right. Yes, very right. good. And um, can anyone else? What I would say the mountains are where? Where in the picture? How do we describe where the where the mountains are in the picture? In the back background. Yes. So you say the. Can you say that in a complete sentence? The mountains are in the back or in the background. Perfect. Yeah. 
Yep, in the background. Very good. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty simple picture. And then how about the bee? What, what would you describe? You said there's a bee, but what is the bee doing? Anybody? What is the bee doing? She's turning around the flower. Okay, um, the bee is... What was the verb? Turn. Turn. How about... Fly, yeah. The bee is flying. And then what preposition? Flying? Around. Okay, around or to. Yeah. Or another one we could say is towards. Yeah? Towards the sunflower. Okay? Very good. Thank you, Junior. To, uh, to take the nectar is the same way. One second here. Can someone mute? Let's see. Junior, I'm going to have to mute you for a sec. Okay. So, um, very good. Any other any other descriptions from anybody? Uh, to, to take or uh, to have the nectar uh, or the about the fly. Is, is, uh, is yeah, they, they fly to the flowers to get to take the nectar, yeah. So this is a, this is a description that's provided. A bee flies in front of a sunflower planted on July 11th in Japan. Yeah, approximately 1.2 million sunflowers are planted in 24.1 hectares of over six sunflower field, fields in the city. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. All right, so... Very good. Uh, next person we have uh, Giancarlo. Are you ready? Oops. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Ready. Yeah, let's describe mm -hmm. this picture. Okay. Um, it's an outdoor picture. It's a street. There are some um, houses. Mm, there are cars on the street. It's uh, a dark picture. Uh, the houses are <clears throat> are made of uh, red tiles or red blocks. Uh, there is a guy carrying a bunch of uh, maybe newspapers in a I don't I don't know how to say this in a cart or in a in Spanish it's in un diablo but nope. uh, uh, anybody know this I, I don't remember does anybody know what this is wheelbarrow mm, I don't know uh, <laughs> I like oh, yeah yeah a wheelbarrow is actually it's it's more of a it has a more of a bowl type. This is not like, it has more of a bowl. Yeah? Um, this is actually called a dolly. That's one of the ways we describe it in American English, at least. A dolly? A dolly. Or a... Uh, dolly. Yeah, or like a cart. Um, maybe we'd call it a cart, like a, um, a delivery cart. Okay. That trolley. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. The Anything guy, else? the uh, the man, the man is carrying a, a a cart full of newspapers. Maybe the picture was taken in the morning. Uh, on one part of the picture, the sun is shining, but on the other side of the picture, there are shadows. And uh, on the right, there is a line of cars. And the guy Excellent. is crossing the street, carrying, All right. carrying the cart. Perfect. Very good. All right. Um, I just got a couple things. Uh, how do we say this, Giancarlo, again? Dolly? Uh, uh, nope. It's an... It's an older, it's an old picture. I yeah. said an older oh, picture. Oh, yeah. You said it. You, you just said a little... It's I wanted old. you to clarify the pronunciation. Okay? Yeah. Older. Very good. Oh, okay. 
I think the pronunciation was a little off. A little off on that. Okay, and then you said, can you describe the sun and uh, the buildings? What is the sun doing against the buildings? Uh, the sun is um, the sun is lighting the buildings. Okay, yeah. The sun is um, facing the buildings. Maybe I, I don't know how to say yeah. that. Or it's it's like shining against the buildings or shining through the buildings. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably the way I would describe the it. The sun is shining. It's shining. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Through. Or through or against the buildings, okay. And then what do we call these? Through the building. Mm -hmm. What do we call these stripes right here on the road? Anybody know? The the road strip zebra. Yeah, sometimes we. I think some people call it zebras, but I think there's a more common, at least for my, from where I'm from, there's a more common way we we describe it. This, uh, pedestrian access or okay pedestrian cross yeah crossing or we could say a cross walk okay crosswalk good mm -hmm. all right any cross other walk. questions any questions from anybody no all right how, how, how do you say how to say, or how do you say when there is? A, I mean, I mentioned something about the shadows because, I mean, the the sun is shining through. Uh, in some part of the picture, the sun is shining through the um, the houses, but in the other part, it's uh, a little bit dark. How how to say that? It's. Uh, yeah, you could say it's. You said it was fine. It was dark and um, shadow. Uh, how do we tr change that into an adjective? Anybody? I don't know. Shadowy? <laughs> yeah. Great Isn't guess. It? That's really? a, yeah. <laughs> Shadowy. Yes. A lot of times we just add a Y. Yeah? yeah. Shadowy. See, just like this. Shadowy. Yeah? Yeah, you could say it's shadowy and dark. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um... How else I would describe that actually? Yeah, it's very dark and shadowy. Mm -hmm. This is the contrast, no? Light, uh, light and shadows. Mm. Yep. Yep, light and shadows. All right, very good. Thank you, Giancarlo. Excellent. All right, Bruno, it's your turn. You're up. Um, but wait, okay. actually, I wanted to read this. So it's a delivery man. Oh, wow. They call it a wheelbarrow. Very good. Yeah. But I don't think it is a wheelbarrow. Um, I can show you what I think of a wheelbarrow. Yeah, I know. A wheelbarrow is the thing that uh, is in the garden. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, like this. This is a wheelbarrow. Ah, what happened here? Yeah, that's a wheelbarrow. Yeah. So that's not a wheelbarrow. Like I said, I, I call it a dolly. Like this. This is a dolly to me. Yeah. That is sheep. Not the sheep. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, dolly cart. Clone. The first clone. No? Yeah, the first clone. Yeah, this oh, is a yeah. dolly cart. It's a dolly cart. Yeah. Dolly yeah. cart. Yeah, that's a dolly cart. Mhm. Mm All right. So Bruno, you're up. Uh, one second here. I'm gonna get the next one. Let me see. Whoa. Whoops. Okay. So what is this? All right, Bruno. Um, okay. Um, it's a really big city um, with a lot of buildings. Um, there's a tower. Um, what else? The sky is not so so clean. It's probably um, almost in the evening, I think. Um, what else? Um, 
No, it's fine. What do you think this is? This what? what this is a reflection. Yeah, we said a reflection. Yes. Well, what is it reflecting? What is uh the what is everything reflecting off of? I wonder. The storm. Clouds. What did you say? Uh, the sky. Uh, this is with uh, same to start a a, a big storm. Hmm? storm. A storm. A storm. storm. Like uh, yeah. like going to rain. Yes, a storm. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Storm. Yeah. But I wonder if this is uh, another building, or I wonder what this is reflecting off right here. It's definitely an uh, interesting angle. Yeah. All right. Anybody else have questions or anything? What do we call this? With all these buildings, what is what is one building? I think it's the coast. The the coast? In the mm, yes, in the. Uh, is, uh, sorry. It's skyscrapers. Yeah, yeah, and then we actually call this is a line, so we call this a skyline. Yeah, it's a skyline. Skyscrapers are the buildings. Those are the tall buildings. But the whole, all the buildings together, is a skyline. Question, please. Yeah. Um, does uh, skyline means uh, horizon? Yeah, it's it's like, but it's all a bunch of it's a group of buildings on the horizon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a group of buildings. So when I want to describe a skyline. Yeah, I say um, Chicago or New York has a beautiful skyline, right? It's very big. This is a bahia. Is possible uh, uh, to uh, 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 because it's uh, um, it's not uh, a line uh, straight. Uh, is uh, uh, this is uh, turn or I I don't know. Are you talking about? Uh, um, you said a yes, valley. Uh, this is about the the shape um, uh, in the in the reflex. The shape is a little. It's not uh, flat. Yes, it's not flat. Yeah. No, yes. I don't know. We're gonna find out what this is in the caption. But does yeah? This is the skyline. Okay. All these buildings. It's, we just call it a skyline, and it's a yes, beautiful yes. skyline with this tower. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Skyline, and how how do you describe the the sky? Oh yeah. How it's a little bit it's a little bit cloudy, but how do you mm -hmm. describe it? I don't know. anybody anybody want to give it a shot? Give it a try. Um, it's it's cloudy. Uh, it's a good question. I don't know. The the clouds are very. Stormy uh, is not possible. A storm. Yeah, but that it's not necessarily going to storm. It's possible. I mean, this is sunset. Um, could almost say like the clouds are a little rippled. Yeah. They're rippled. Yeah, maybe. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything on the top of my head. Sorry, a little rippled, a little. I don't know. It's a really, it's a really nice, nice uh, cloud, cloud formation. All right. Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> yeah, but no, fluffy clouds are usually white, white and fluffy. I won't, I won't necessarily call them too fluffy, but all right. Let's let's just read what it says about it. Oh, it's in Tokyo. Okay, so the Tokyo Tower Center stands amid other buildings. What does amid mean? Anybody? Amid. Nobody knows. Amid is like uh, it's a preposition. It's between or among. Yeah, or surrounding. I think so. Stands surrounded by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by. That's what it can mean mm -hmm. too. Surrounded by. Other buildings, as it is reflected on a table. 
Ah, I, sorry, I wanted to say. <laughs> what do we say before the evening? What is another way to say before the evening? Anybody? Sunset. What'd you say? Sunset. Sunset, yeah, but there's, um, you said it's almost the evening. So this is actually the perfect picture to describe it. Dusk, right here. Where is it? Dusk in Tokyo, at dusk. So this is like, it's not in the evening, it's kind of like a little past sunset. Yeah, the sun is already set. Okay? So it's dusk. It's between the afternoon and... Nope, it's at the evening. It's, um, it's in the evening after the sun is all the way down. You cannot see the sun here. The sun is past the horizon. Okay. So it's dusk. It's right before it gets dark. Okay? Good. In Tokyo... Let me see here. I gotta... All right. Uh, in Tokyo, and the Japanese company eased off the capital spending growth. Okay. Well, that's just uh, economics there. That's nothing about the picture. <laughs> All right. All right. Very good. All right. So, next picture, we have uh, one more person, Ahmed. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, well, uh, it is... Mm, it looks like a sun. So what do you call this? Eclipse? I'm yes, not sure. very yeah, good probably. eclipse. Probably, yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, so, that's it. <laughs> okay, how do you uh, describe the eclipse? What is an eclipse? Yeah, uh, it is... Uh, it looks like a uh, full, probably, eclipse. Okay. You know, pa partly, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, well, mm, of course... Uh, that happens because uh, uh, the the moon uh, comes between the Earth and the Sun. Excellent. Yeah, that's why. So it uh, you know it hides <laughs> the moon hides uh, the Sun behind or something. Yeah, hides hides behind the Sun. Perfect. I don't know what else. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, it's a pretty simple picture. I don't know if we should give you a different one. Yeah, I can see um, this. Uh, yeah, like uh, if I want to describe the colors, uh, uh, we can see like there is contrast. I don't know. I mean, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, very uh, dark on on the edges, <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, very bright in that mm -hmm. little. How moon. do you how do you describe this this ring this yellow ring? How would you describe this? Mm, you know, guys, help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? Bright ring, bright. Yeah, bright. Okay, it, it's almost it starts with the G. Nobody knows. I would say it almost looks like it's glowing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's glowing. This is how I spell it, glowing. Yeah, it's glowing, the sun is glowing around um, the moon. Yeah, full moon, very good. And then the clouds. Um, here's a good word for you. I would say the clouds are creeping towards the, s the sun or the eclipse. Have you ever heard of this word, creeping? Mm, like uh, some insects? I yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's, way slowly, it's slowly moving towards creeping. Like, like snails. <laughs> yeah, slowly moving towards. Yeah, creeping. Um, it also means other things. It can mean like a person that makes people feel uncomfortable um, and things like that. But the verb to creep is slowly moving. Yeah. For example, the snake. Yeah, the, s the snake creeps, or the lion creeps up towards the prey. Yeah? The lion creeps. Creeps up on its prey. Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, creeps. Very good. All right, we're on round two. We're back to Adela. So round two, I have another group of pictures. They're not. Uh, they're a little different. Okay, they're not all um, um, about landscape because I want to well, get more people involved. Well, we haven't read the caption yet. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here's the caption. All right, nearly near to total. Or actually, I'll have you read it, Ahmed. It's better for pronunciation if you read. Can you read it? Uh, no, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, it is very small. That's why I can't. Yeah. See. Okay. I'll read it. There. Is that better? Huh? Yeah. I'll read it. I'll read it. Okay. Thank you. It's too small. All right. Near 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 totality is seen during the solar eclipse at Palm Cove on November 14th, 2012 in Palm Cove, Australia. Thousands of eclipse watchers have gathered in part of North Queensland to enjoy the solar eclipse. The first in, in Australia in a decade. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. interesting. Yeah, this is, yeah, these are a lot of cool pictures here. We'll, maybe we'll come back. We'll, we're going to try a different group of pictures I found, okay? Um, so for this next round, Adela, um, this is another one in the moon. These are some interesting pictures, okay? Um, but I'm going to go to the second one. All right. So, Adela, how do you describe this? Um, this is, um, uh, I think, uh, uh, one moment. Uh, for um, this is a ride. Um, in a... Uh, it's a very uh, important storm, I think, and uh, uh, they connect uh, this ray uh, connect the, the sky with the surface. Um, I think uh, in a eastern an island. Uh, in the background, I see a, a very big city. Uh, very light uh, with uh, a lot of uh, bright uh, of the skycrapers, uh, buildings in general, but uh, I think it's important. And the island uh, has a tower or a, uh, sorry, <laughs> I don't know the uh, lighthouse. Uh, it's it? possible a, a lighthouse. Maybe it's too small. I'm going to make it bigger. Um, um, ah, okay. Okay. I think it's a light, no? A lighthouse or... Can anybody... Same? I could see it better than you. Can anybody identify this? Where is this? Uh, ah, or oh, a tree. Is it Liberty? I, I, I don't... What, what did you call it? Is it Liberty? This Liberty? Statue? Yeah, we call it the Statue of Liberty. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's the Statue of Liberty. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, so this this is New York. It's very small. Uh, yeah. It's a big city. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it is stormy, right? So how do we... Okay, so first, what do we... Anybody, what do we call this? You called it a ray, but what do we call it? Anybody? Uh, sorry. A thunder? Uh, a thunder? No, thunder is the noise. <laughs> thunder is the noise. Storm. Lightning. Yes. Yeah, lightning. It's lightning. Yeah, we call it lightning. Okay? Lightning. All right. Um, and we know this is New York now, so it's obviously we cannot see the skyscrapers. So what do we call that type of weather when you cannot see um, the clouds are very low? And you can't see very well? Foggy. Yes, foggy. Misty. So it looks like it's foggy or misty. Yeah, but misty is more like um, physical. It's more personal. Fog is just the general idea, the general climate. But mm. you can have like mist in your face. And when it's foggy, it's kind of misty. Not really, actually. But misty uh -huh. is like a light rain. I think misty is more of a light rain. Yeah. Very extremely light rain. Okay. Okay. And also, we call a light rain. Uh, we call we say that it's um, sprinkling. This is just in general a light rain. 
Yeah? Yeah. Sprinkling. Okay? So, yeah, misty is like a very light rain or, you know, but sprinkling is a little more. Yeah. But it's still light. Good. All right, yeah, so this is interesting. And what's the verb? The lightning, what is the verb? The lightning is... It's attracted no? uh, to the mm -hmm. point. Uh, oh. Okay, very good. It's it's uh, the lightning is. What do you do? What's that? Crashing. What do you Crashing. call it uh, uh -huh. when you when you're bowling? You're bowling and your ball it hits it hits the pins. Uh, bounce. Ba Bowl. Bouncing. No strike. Mm. Ah, strike. Yeah. yeah, the lightning is striking the Statue of Liberty. Kind of. Maybe it's it's not. Str it looks like it is. It's a perfect angle. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it's it looks like it's uh, striking the Statue of Liberty, but really it's striking the city. I think, or maybe the yeah, yeah, maybe, right. the, maybe the water, maybe the ocean. Okay, good. Yeah. Very good. All right, let's continue to the next person. So we're back to Sophia. All right. Yes. <laughs> what about this one? Uh, okay, uh, there's there's a man uh, under water who is trying to um, get getting in touch with uh, the animal. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, or, or yes, the animal. Uh, I don't know, uh, or a rock. Um, yeah, what kind of animal is this? Uh, uh, a whale. Exactly, very good. And what is this motion? What is this action for humans? Uh, he's uh, mm, trying to give his hand to the animal. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so... Um, yeah, you, last time you kind of got confused here. You said try to getting. We just you did perfect that second time. Uh, he is trying to. What does anybody else have a better description? What is he trying to do? Handshake. Description. Handshake. Okay, trying to shake the whale's fin. Okay. Yeah. Trying to shake, or uh, we also call it sometimes a high five. Have you ever heard of this? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to uh, give the whale a high five. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool picture. All right, um, John Carlo, it's your turn, okay? Very good, Sophia. Thank you. What do we call this guy? What is he doing? Diver. He's a diver, yeah, he's scuba diving. And these, what are these called? Um, I don't remember. And flippers. <laughs> They're called flippers. Flippers. Yep, flippers. Flippers. <laughs> this is an interesting picture. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I guess all of you describe this. Oh my goodness! What the name of the statue? It's a Taj Mahal. How do you call that? How do you call this statue? <laughs> yeah. It's a Buddha. Buddha. Yeah, a okay. Buddha statue. It's an outdoor picture. Um, on the left, there's the Buddha statue. And uh, in the background, there is an airplane. And it seems like Buddha is touching the airplane. Yeah. Um, we can see, yeah, we can see uh, the sky. The sky is the sky is blue, and the main part is what I said before. The statue of Buddha is. It seems he's touching the. the yeah. Airplane. How, how can we describe that better? He's not. Doesn't seem like. It doesn't look like he's touching. It actually looks like he is. Anybody? What is he doing with his fingers? He's. It looks like he is. I don't know. <laughs> oh, very good. That's actually hey. that's better than what I was thinking. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you could say uh, you could say pinching maybe. He's pinching his fingers. He's pinching his fingers. Yeah. But I almost want to say grab. He's trying. It looks like he's grabbing. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looks like he's grabbing the the plane by the the end, right? Grabbing the end of the plane. Um, and I think someone else uh, when they were talking about the sky, you said a clean sky. But what? How do we describe the sky? It's not a clean sky. It's a clear. Clear. Maybe maybe it was pronunciation. Clear sky. Clear can sky. can we see bright sky? Yep, it's a bright sky. Perfect. Yeah, no problem. All right, good. All right, um, we got a couple more here. Uh, Bruno, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yes. Um, in this picture, um, there is a bird, um, eating an ice cream. There's a a man that seems um terrified. <laughs> um, I don't know <laughs> because the bird um got his ice cream. Um, um, yeah, what it's did, very crowded. Mm-hmm. What did the bird do, you think? Um, he's eating an ice cream? Yeah, but uh, why does this guy look terrified? What do you think? What could, make an assumption. And what is this called? This is uh, ice cream... Cone. Yep, cone. Ice cream cone. Ice cream cone. Okay, but what did he do? Anybody? What is that verb? What What do you think he did? This guy had the ice cream cone, and the bird. Stealing. <laughs> yeah. How do you? Maybe how do you? The bird, maybe the bird took uh, the guy's uh, ice cream cone. Yeah. And he's shocked. He's surprised about that action because maybe the bird was was hungry, uh-huh. and suddenly the bird took the took the guy's uh, ice cream cone. Exactly. So you could say the bird took the guy's ice cream cone, or another one we could say is he steal. Yeah. What is steal in the past? Stole. Exactly. Stole. Yep. He stole the guy's ice cream cone. Yeah, good, very good. All right, all right, we have Ahmed. You ready, uh, Ahmed? This question is, uh, what is this bird uh, called? Anybody know what this bird is called? It's a seagull. Yes, a mm, seagull. Yeah. Not an eagle, a seagull. Seagull, yes. seagull. seagull. Yeah, they're very, very vicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're very rambunctious birds. Very good. All right, um, this one's pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll go to the next one. Whoa. Let's, uh, hmm. This might be difficult to, yeah, I'm going to give you this one. All right, Ahmed, what is this? Uh, mm, It looks like an eye, but it is not. It is a basin or sink. Yeah, sink. Yeah, mm-hmm. there is a uh, uh, soap suds. Very good. I think, yeah. Mm. Uh, I think I'm not sure. Probably uh, this basin is somewhere in the northern hemisphere. Okay. Because yeah, the the <coughs> direction of uh, I don't know. You call it spinning? I'm not sure. Yeah, anybody know what is it doing right now? What is this action? Draining. <laughs> exactly, Drains. yeah, the exactly. sink is draining. Yeah, because mm. the direction of the water uh, is uh, the, uh, clockwise. So yes. I think, yeah, I think it is in the northern. I don't know, I heard that in the southern uh, hemisphere, the direction will be on the opposite. I'm not sure. Clear. Yeah, I've heard that too. I, I forget which one is which. Yeah. You should know because where I'm where I'm at. But does anybody know about that? The direction of the drain it drains different directions and different sides yes. of the earth. Yeah, very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Yeah. So this is what it is. The sink is draining. 
So I call it a sink, but bassin, I guess. Do they? Is that maybe that's European English? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think they call it Europeans call it a washer, don't they? I think so. Yeah. A washer. Yeah. A bassin for me is something different. Yeah. What is um, it? It's like a, a water um, a type of. Here, I'm gonna look it up here. Uh -huh. This is what I would call a bassin. It's like a little 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 pond of water. Uh, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bassin. Um, but look, I mean, this is bassin right here. It's sink. Mm -hmm. Family of bassin. Maybe a bassin's like the entire. I don't know. Maybe it's more of a formal way of saying sink. Yeah. Yeah, because that's like a formal style sink. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like they do have sinks for bassins. I never call it that though. But I understood you. Yeah, you're fine. Very good. All right. Uh, we're about run out of time though, but uh, I'm glad we got to, everybody got two opportunities to to describe these pictures. I think. Um, uh, yeah, I think you guys are really you have really good good vocabulary to describe. So congratulations. Everyone uh, didn't have any problems. Um, and uh, I hope uh, yeah you got some new vocabulary. Uh, if we want to go through them quick here, I can. I can go through the vocabulary quick uh, if you didn't write them down yourself. Um, so we said mountainous, yeah, mountainous landscape. Uh, the surface, sh the reflection, right? Jagged and rugged. Okay. Remember, it's from dark blue. Uh, if it's to freeze, we say the adjective is frozen. Um, Towards is a word that we're maybe is new for us. The background. Let me see here. Uh, also, we call all the different ways we could say crosswalk, zebra, shadowy. All right. And then what's before the evening? What do we call that? Dusk. Yeah. It's the darkest. It's the uh, it's the lightest or the. <laughs> I looked it up actually just to give you guys. So dusk is the darkest stage of twilight. Oh, the darkest stage of twilight in the evening. So it's a little different than I explained. Okay. If you can read that, it's the darkest stage of twilight. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what else? Uh, go back to here. Stormy skyscrapers, skyline. All right, and then glowing. Surrounded by is also means amid. Okay. Creeps. This is a verb that's someone that moves very slowly. Um, and actually, secretly, I want to say it moves slowly and secretly, kind of, yeah. Uh, lightning. And then foggy. And high five, right? <laughs> Good. Grabbing. And then steal. Very good, guys. Um, it was great having you all in class. I hope to see you again sometime soon. Any questions before we, before we finish up? No? No. no. no uh, just like that. Just that I try to I try to um add I try to add you into into my Google Hangouts uh, session, but I couldn't find you, uh, Justin. Huh. I don't I know why. Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't. Uh, I don't know. Maybe try again. Maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I might have to do something to my Verbling profile. I don't know if that makes a difference, but it's Google. But um. Also, uh, if you guys are interested, I have two other classes today in about two hours. So okay. maybe if, if you're still online, hope to see you again. Okay, Justin. Thank you. Yeah, thank you're you. welcome. Okay. Yeah, okay. thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Take care.